It's just electric bulbs. It's not the brightest, but good morning, guys. This is me. I'm about to head to the airport. The last time you guys saw this dress, the sleeves were or not this dress, this outfit. The sleeves were not like this, okay? But this is me. I made a skirt and a blouse. I'm carrying this bag. I didn't want to carry my tote, but yes, this is me. I'm off to Emo State. Yeah, okay. <laughs> i landed about so the clip of the plane landing like the clip i showed after we landed or something like that because i i for sure did not vlog while we were landing my phone was switched off actually i didn't even put it in airplane mode i switched off but we landed about 20 minutes ago it took a while to get my suitcase out because there was only one conveyor belt working and there were like about four or five flights that kind of landed at the same time i have my suitcase now and i'm going to start heading into town i tried like i was hoping that i could i don't even know i wasn't even hoping but i was like open to like however it goes yesterday i'll see how much i can vlog but guys let me tell you guys something i just yesterday was so sad like i cried and cried everybody cried and cried i just not had the energy to pick up my phone and start snapping anything like that's just generally how i felt and because of how early i got up as well like i had to get up around 7 a.m no sorry what, what am i saying i had to get up around 4 a.m to catch a 7 a.m flight and guys on my way to the airport my tire burst like one of the front ones like legit shredded like i was just so lucky that it happened very close to the airport around the police barracks right so we managed to get into the airport and i ran into the airport right and then we left first flights are always on time so that was an early morning flight first five for that matter you're not banking on it being delayed you're not hoping that they, like bruh i had to just like i got into the airport and i left that's just kind of how it went because but I, I was sitting in the checking counter when they called for boarding so i'm back now i have a headache like i also bro guys i just feel like i need to rest to just kind of yeah my body needs it after these past few days but yeah i'll probably see you guys soon because i have a lot lined up for this vlog and hopefully i'm able to do all of them guys the clouds are also a bit bumpy man traveling rainy season dry season the clouds are always doing one thing or the other so it was raining when we landed in lagos and the clouds were so thick bro they were so thick but thank god for johnny messes good morning morning guys um okay a few things really quickly i want to go take off this ponytail today i was supposed to film it was kind of raining in the morning made me start stalling and then 
I just feel like I can't think straight with this ponytail and it's so weird because it's not particularly tight. The last two times that I've had ponytails installed, I had to take them out in about three to four days. Normally I could have this on for like over a week but I just feel like I can't think straight. Like I don't feel 100% and I feel like if I take this ponytail off, I will feel way better, right? I also like got breakfast. I've not been able to cook like I came back yesterday and Obviously, let me show you guys what I got to be honest. This is called the American breakfast at Bia with some but It's just like eggs with potatoes and meat, like chicken sausage, and I think some bacon. And this particular one comes with two English breakfasts. I don't even understand how I'm showing this here, but yeah, I'm going to eat, man. I will be eating now. I feel like once I get this hair off, then I'll be back to myself. So, let me eat. I have like Sunday's video to, because I need to create the intro, like the clips that you guys see at the beginning with the music, I need to do that. And also work on the thumbnail for Sunday's video as well. Bro, I can't wait. Calm down. I have an appointment for 3.30 p.m. So I have about three hours till this comes off. And then once it comes off, I feel like I can breathe. Because right now, no. When I was away, I got a package delivered. This is obviously detail, but it is Huda Beauty. I'm not quite sure what they sent, but let us see what it is. This is wish. What are these? Oh, lip balms! Lip balms. Okay, so there's a natural eyeshadow palette here, which is so good. This whole glowish range, by the way, for those of you who do not know, yeah, something just stopped making noise and I'm sure now you guys can hear me better. This glowish range with Huda Beauty is targeted at like people who like their makeup very natural, like natural looking makeup, right? They have a few products in this range, but I can't believe that they actually created eyeshadow palettes and some lip gloss, lip balms. Oof, I'm sure I'm going to love these. So, there are these eyeshadow palettes here and they are lip balms. This neutral colored one will be perfect like for every day. I'm hoping that they are dark, colors that are dark enough right so do you know what let me take so i have three eyeshadows here right let me remove them so that you guys can see i'm really loving this whole no makeup makeup look by the way i talked about my no makeup makeup look in i think it, some videos ago and some people were asking me to please share it here guys the video is on instagram i already mentioned in some vlogs that the video will be on instagram and it is on instagram so guys please go check instagram for my current no makeup makeup routine the products that i love to use i'm just trying to take the I have to tear this a little bit. Oh, it's done. The end. Okay, so there's a green one. This one is called Moss. It's micro mini. There's one called Amethyst. It has more like berry colors in it. And the final one is called Clay. It has very, very neutral colors like orange, bronzy colors. Beautiful. Okay, there are about four different lip balms. So these are the lip balms. And I don't think that they have any color payoff. Let me look again. Yeah, no color payoff. So I'm going to just try this one. So there's coconut, there's matcha. So there's the green one is matcha. This one here is coconut. This one is called goji berry and this is blueberry. Let me open the matcha one. How does this work? Okay. Hmm. Ooh. This feel really good. They feel really, really good and super hydrating, guys. I'm sorted when it comes to lip balms for the next year, okay? I was just even running out of my current lip balm and I was wondering where to repurchase from. I have brand new lip balms here. Guys, there's always a lip balm in my bag. Always, okay? These feel like really good. And there's this whole, like, I don't like it when lip balms have like menthol or they have this whole stinging or plumping effect. This is just good lip balm. I love it. So thank you Huda Beauty for sharing, I'm not sharing, for sending these to me. Let me eat. I think that maybe when I eat, I can now talk properly. Hi. Guys, it's like 6.24 p.m. I just finished doing a video. I quite like the way that I look. And um, this video should have gone up by the time that this one goes up. Hopefully, I did a chit chat video. I want to do more chit chat videos, guys. Like, more chit chat videos. But then again, I also don't want to do one of those, like... Remember when I used to do these, like, back in the day? And I would spend days in the comments fighting for my life because sometimes what you say can be taken out of context and the way people listen to things sometimes can be weird but then i actually miss chatting with you guys like that so i want to start doing more of those type of videos we'll see the reason why i'm actually here is because there are these recurring questions that i keep getting about how i shop and it's always around like asos 
Fashion Nova, Zara, Amazon. Yeah, there's about four places that I, I have mentioned or I mentioned shopping from. So the first thing about ASOS, because I've never done a haul dedicated to ASOS, but I mention ASOS quite often in my videos and that's because I order things from them. Like to me, they're one of the best places to buy clothes from, especially if you're on a budget, if you have more money to spend. And also it's not one of those places where you buy clothes from and you're worried about the waist to hip ratio because they have a habit of like maybe catering to people who have BBL type bodies. I just love ASOS for that. I've been ordering from ASOS since I think I was 22, 21. Since my NYSC year, I've been ordering from ASOS to ship here. The thing, however, is that over these years, like ASOS shipping just keeps changing and evolving and they keep doing whatever. So in 2000, as of 2020 ish, so 2018, 2019, I know that ASOS had two shipping options. For a very long time, they did not have the express shipping option to Nigeria. If you ordered from ASOS, it will be shipped to you via the post office chicken. Now, if it gets missing, you go to the post office and fight for your life. But I know that around 2017 to maybe 2019 they have the express shipping option and then they have the regular shipping option so if you pay 20 pounds for express shipping then your order will be delivered to you via dhl and i never had issues when this option was available but all of a sudden they just stopped they stopped shipping via dhl so if you order from asos your order has had to only go through the post office and we kind of know how that is it's not a good feeling at all but then i noticed recently that so and this is just giving you guys context because you people keep asking about shopping about these from these websites right now. Last time I shopped from ASOS, yeah, to here, I think I bought glasses. I even showed you guys, I think ear, no earrings, yeah. So basically, it does not matter how small, now they use, and they've used this Skynet off and on. I remember when I was doing my NYS in 2012 or 2013 or something, they used to use this Skynet. Horrible people. Why they are still using Skynet, I don't know. So I'll explain some things to you guys. When ASOS was using DHL, like every other brand that uses DHL, you're not supposed to pay customs on any package that the value is less than $200 on. Actually, I even think by law. But then again, these things are so hazy. There is no place where it is like, and they always get some surprise sometimes when you call them out on it. Then, if you would order anything that was less than $200, from ASOS. You wouldn't pay customs. DHL will just ship it to you. If your package is now more than $200, then DHL will charge you, right? They'll make you pay customs for the value of the items. So the last time I ordered from ASOS, it doesn't matter. Like I try to keep all my orders under 100 pounds, Seth. But it doesn't matter. Even if you order like 20, something that is worth 20 pounds from ASOS. With Skynet, Skynet makes you pay a fee aside the shipping fee you've already paid ASOS. It's been like this for years now. Why ASOS does not want to do anything about it, I don't know. But Skynet makes you pay. Like even if you go on ASOS now and order something that is worth 10 pounds, your order will come to you within a week. Oh, don't get me wrong. And it will be delivered to the gate the problem however is that on, on top of that 10 pounds skynet will make you pay a fee a handling fee what that fee is for aside the shipping fee i don't know the whole thing is just mad so these days whenever i shop from asos what i do is i use shipment forwarding companies so it's either i order from asos and ship it to belt or cargo which is in america and they now forward it to me here i don't pay any customs i just pay a flat fee or there's this other com um, shipping company i use in the uk i'm going to have their details in the description box i ship the package i even ordered something from them recently but i will ship it to that because i ship it to the uk company the uk company now forwards it to nigeria for me within a week they just weigh it and charge me based on the weight so for asos because i shop from them a lot i hope that all of this is making sense so guys people should just be following what i'm saying because i shop from asos a lot i pay for their one year prime delivery so there's this thing where they'll make you pay like i think 9.99 and if you pay 9.99 for one year then you will get next day shipping for the whole year no matter what you order right so what i do is because i'm already technically not even paying for shipping anymore they just ship it straight to that address i've provided they will just now wait when i actually now pay for shipping is with those people right they'll wait and they bring it to nigeria for me within one week i know that it is sad because asos used to be so accessible and easy to order from back in the day it's just crazy now i don't know what they are doing with zara i think zara still ships to nigeria i have not ordered anything from them recently but i think i'll order and show you people but zara ships to nigeria they ship via dhl and your order gets to you in about four days the only thing is make sure that you keep your zara orders less than 200 dollars still right so that you don't pay any ship duties dhl will just bring it to your door the second people there fashion nova last time i did a fashion nova video because i keep getting comments on that fashion nova video back then 2019 2019 i think i did that video fashion nova used to ship to nigeria they had a regular shipping which 
meant like if you use that or if you paid for that your order will come to you through the nigerian post office but if you paid for the express shipping your order will be delivered to you via dhl fashion nova used to do this when i even did that video i chose the express shipping and my order for that particular video came to me via dhl in 20 when did i learn my in 2021 i think just maybe a year or two later i tried to order from fashion nova again and guys Fashion Nova will make you still pay that same amount you would pay then thinking that it's DHL that is still bringing your package but it is not going through post office. I remember like they said 3 to 5 days delivery which was what you used to take DHL to bring your order to Nigeria to you back then. No? I paid it in 2021. They said 3 to 5 working days or whatever for the fastest type of delivery they had only for them to send this thing via USPS local post. Guys, my order got to me after 2 months or something because they made me pay a lot but they sent it through USPS which now made Nipos responsible for the fulfillment. So basically to explain this part, anytime you order anything from any country and they ship your order via local post, if it is China then it will be China post, if it is the UK then it will be Royal Mail, if it is America then it is United States Postal Service which is USPS, depending right if a brand ships out anything to you via their country's local post it automatically makes your own country's local post which is night post responsible for fulfilling that order you're not supposed to pay night post any other money like night post is supposed to deliver it to you but we're in nigeria and in nigeria where we do after that happened to me in 2021 i have not ordered anything from fashion nova again i've cancelled them i don't even order from them again because it's just, i just don't that's it I remember like that last order I actually placed from them was shapewear. I was trying to buy one tight or ghetto. I don't even know what it's called there. And it just ended up, I don't know. I did not like the experience at all. So Fashion Nova, no. Okay, so who else? Um, Amazon. I've explained this Amazon thing so many times. I even have a video dedicated to Amazon. Guys, Amazon delivers to Nigeria. They've been delivering to Nigeria since 2018 right this is not even post office type of delivery they've been delivering to nigeria via private courier since 2018 or so how does this work if you go to amazon the only thing is that the shipping tends to be quite high and this is because amazon factors in possible customs when you're checking out and you put nigeria as an address right what amazon has done in the past however is they give you an estimated customs fee and they deliver to you i've had amazon come back to me like one month later two months later saying oh the estimated customs they charged me was lower than what what they actually paid to clear that thing and they refund me my money so a lot of websites will give you the option of either paying for the customs on their website or paying for it when it comes to nigeria if any website ever gives you that option please always pay on the website it's cheaper they use bank rates to do their conversion there but if it comes here dhl has a rate that is turning on your own so that's one point left there so amazon delivers nigeria via three couriers there are three couriers amazon has always use if you're getting standard shipping like their regular shipping that is not fast that comes to you in 1 to 14 days it's always delivered to you via usps or rmx and that one is cheaper they have a faster shipping option that they offer sometimes that one is always dhl always dhl and it will get to you within one week the only thing is just that it is more expensive so whenever i want small items and i do the math and i feel like it's worth it i can order like for example when i got my or when I ordered my dip powder kit, they were small items. Amazon was also doing a sale. They were delivered to me via RMX, just FYI. If it's big items though, then I'll do what I told you guys I do for ASOS now, which is using a shipment forwarding company like Bell Talk Cargo or Avent 3. The Avent 3 is the UK one. I'll leave their details in the description box. This was a mouthful, but I hope that it made complete sense, right? The third thing, I have a note here. The third thing is like i was telling you guys i think in the previous vlog that the biscuit that i got from renee it tasted like soap and i was thinking that maybe guys my boyfriend got me snacks from renee last week so what he tends to do this thing where if he goes there if he sees some of these healthy snacks that i like he will just throw them into the cart and bring them for me and i remember the last set he bought for me this was not even the same product i bought they were tasting like soap like he had to taste it it's crazy because i was not telling him that i was telling you guys in the previous vlog that a particular biscuit tasted like soap and i was thinking that maybe i wasn't sure because it was just one biscuit he was like are you serious i was like yeah we we're just surprised to see that more items actually tasted like soap so i don't know what renee is doing but renee you guys need to do better like you guys have such variety but sometimes i feel like there's a lot of chaos it's not nice there's no reason why people will pay hard end money and the thing tastes like soap and it's one of those things that it's also tricky in a nigerian environment taking things back to go and complain about and say oh this thing you i bought for me people taste like soap it's not an obvious damage that you can be like oh i got this thing and it's spoiled you're trying to convince them that something tastes like soap it will involve the manager taste is long you guys are ripping people off it's not nice Ugh, rant over 
I need to change my phone case too. My phone cases, it's about time, guys. I have little sunlight left, but let me get the new phone cases I want to put on my phone. I am back. Okay, so these are cases that, I don't know if I've shown you guys these before, but the last time I actually changed my phone cases were before I traveled to London for my birthday trip. Okay, these, you guys can see, this one is even falling apart. I have gotten good use out of this. I'm not even going to lie. And these have permanent stains on them now. So, the time has come to wear it's another cloth. I'm going to wipe the sides of my phone though because I have some gunk. Can you guys see? Ew. Can you guys see? It looks nasty. Let me see. I have wipes here. Yeah, I have wipes, so... Oof. The back is actually okay. It's just the sides. So I have a cutting pad here. I'm just going to wipe off any liquid or residue from the wipes. I'm wiping off things from the wipes. So I've cleaned it. You guys can see it's cleaner. Yeah, you see? Is it even as clean as I want it to be? I have handprints on it now. But see? It's cleaner. So, I don't even know which one is for which. I think this one. I have a new case. <laughs> I always like my phone cases to match. Whatever I want to call it, call it. But <laughs> I like it when they match. This is my work phone, by the way. So, I have one phone for work and one for regular. So, this is the second one. I got these from the same vendor. I'm going to link them again in the description box. But look at them. They're so cute. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to try and figure out what I'm going to eat because I have no idea whatsoever what I want to eat for dinner. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Not bye. I'll see you guys in one second. But, yeah. Bye. Guys, I'm in Ericaza. I'm meeting my friend Uche. If you guys don't know who Uche is, I did a video in Igbo with her last year. I'm going to have that video linked in the description box. So we are supposed to have lunch at Ericaza. She's running a bit late. I'm also not that hungry. I had a very heavy breakfast around 10 a.m. And it's like 3.30 p.m. right now. So I'm, I don't know, I'm actually quite full. So I'll probably eat something very light. But I just got to Ericaza. And with my book, I'm going to read this until she gets here. Honey and spice. I'm still in chapter six or seven, to be honest. I need to read this book faster so that I can tell you guys what I think. So yeah, let me just see if I can read until she gets here. Madame is finally here. See, Please if people me. could see this dress when she was standing, hot fight. She's even wearing heels, baby. If people need to see me when I left the house, she looks so good. Oh my gosh. Now, this hair I go make next to Jen. I'm serious. <laughs> which, which extensions did you use? Darling. Oh, I really need to. You look nice. Okay. Have you been here before? No, no, no. Like, there's one at VI. Yeah, yeah, there's one at VI, yes. Scan the menu my juice or my I don't even know what this is but it's a mix of pineapple passion fruit puree and I don't know what the third juice is but it's a mix of two juices and one puree which I got something similar but her own has grenadine syrup some bread here so thank you I got this which I got pasta this pasta is actually really nice it's there and a little bit shrimp and this, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to finish it, but I wanted something light. Hey guys, I just came back from a very, very quick trip to the grocery store. This hat, I got it in 2019 from YouTube Black. I hardly ever wear it. I think I should wear it more. I like it. So I rushed off to the grocery store to get stuff that, like, I wasn't sure if I had in the house or stuff I just didn't have. Guys, there's a jollof rice recipe. 
that I saw on social media, okay? It's been in my head. I even quoted the tweet. I was like, yeah, I definitely have to try this. It looked so good. And most of the time, like, there's a, so, something I would call a generic jollof rice recipe where they use some spices highest, like in terms of seasoning. You see nor cubes, you would see maggi and salt, you would see curry and thyme and then bay leaf, right? So I'm always interested in recipes that incorporate more than that. Even my favorite go-to jollof rice recipe is by a Ghanaian food blogger called Telande World. And then I remember like when I first shared it and a lot of people had stuff to say, but I really liked it. And this particular recipe, the reason why it grabbed my attention so bad was that it included rosemary. Guys, rosemary is such an underrated spice. It's such an underrated spice. When I was growing up, my grandma used to have a restaurant and I remember my grandma cooking jollof with rosemary. The flavor, you know what, yeah, let me not just talk too much. I'm really invested in this recipe. I'm really interested in it. I've gone and I've gotten my ingredients. I am going to cook it. I just have to. I have to cook it and give you guys feedback. It was by a food blogger called Izuna DK. I don't know what his name is on TikTok, but this is what he's called on Twitter. And it just looks so good. You know, sometimes something looks good. It looks so good. This one looks so good that I just felt compelled to try. I also want to bake cookies because I have not baked cookies in a while. And I got some chocolate that I think I could use. So I'm going to go on ahead and prep this is also not going to be a tutorial if you want an actual tutorial for this jollof it just depends on how it goes i'm going to have izuna's videos linked in the description box but i want to try it and give you guys a taste there so let's go okay let's go ladies and gentlemen i present to you guys my most recent source of stress because i don't understand this empire has been giving me issues like it's so crazy because i think i even bought this late last year and i did a whole video around when i bought it i noticed sometime like this year that every time i would plug it in the only button on this panel that would respond to command is the power button right and then just that power button i couldn't even switch modes i couldn't do anything i've not been able to air fry chicken in this for months i complained to my partner and he came and carried it and this is one thing i hate like i hate it when an electrical appliance is having an issue right and then you take it somewhere to be fixed because i had a tv that used to do this at a point you take it somewhere to be fixed when you get there it starts behaving normal i've had to move this around sockets now the same thing is happening again i had to do a video and send to him initially when i turned it on there was nothing else responding to command here aside the power button so now i can power it on and i can select modes you know do i want chicken whatever whatever i can do all of that but then if you press play nothing happens so initially only this was working and then this is working and then now if you press play right i don't think that it's been up to a year since i got this so i know that i can return it or take because i got this from spa i can take it back to them because it's still under warranty my problem however is that if i go there now to show them this and then this thing starts working normally what is it and just to make sure that it wasn't the sockets in my kitchen i've taken this to sockets in the living room i've taken this to sockets in different parts of the house it's still doing the same thing Bro, I'm so irritated. Chicken already has a lot of oil and I like to just air fry my chicken. But now as it stands now, I might just have to use oil to fry for the meantime until I sort this thing out. Look how nice this air fryer looks and it's just giving me all this headache. Like for the past 20 to 30 minutes, going to one hour, I've been trying to sort this out. It's not working. It's not working at all. See? It's just not working. So I'm just going to have to fry my chicken with oil. I hate that, but I don't have any option at this point. I really need to get to this jollof rice. The chicken I'm even trying to fry is because I made chicken just so that I'd have stock for the jollof. I have to make another type of chicken for the actual meal. But anyways, guys, ugh, I'm so irritated. Okay, so now I've heated up my oil. The one thing that I found very fascinating about this recipe was that instead of oven roasting your onions and your garlic and all of that, like some people tend to do, he actually recommends that you fry everything whole and then blend. So we're going to do that. Sorry, my oil was a bit too hot, so that was too I'm going to 
to use a hand blender. Funny thing is I got this two years ago. I actually got this in 2021. I have not had any need to use it up until now. Initially, I just wanted to blend it with the regular base, like the base that this blender comes with or the blades that it comes with. But then it's just longer to wash, isn't it? So I also want to just see how this works because this is what he used in his video as well. I was a bit worried that this thing had spoiled. Okay, so I reduced it to like one. I think this thing needs a step down. Guys, I got this from Amazon, but I'm actually realizing that this thing might not work with like Nigerian voltage or something like that. I don't know why it just starts and stops. So I'm just going to disconnect it just to be safe and use the regular blender please so i'm just going to cover this i'm almost done blending funny enough it did a very good job like blending it but then i still have some big chunks so i'm just going to blend it regularly bro that handheld blender man oh, gosh that's it blended nicely okay nicely I'm just going to set this aside We're going to move on to the base now, okay? We're going to use the oil that we used to fry those onions and peppers. I'm trying to be careful so that I don't transfer the bits that were burnt, okay? I think that this is fine. This oil is not hot enough yet. But I'm just going to add more onions because that's what he did. Okay, I think that this is enough. So you really didn't like write out like measurements here yeah, for the ingredients. But at this point he added thyme, rosemary and bay leaf into his mix. So I'm going to do one teaspoon each, okay? Okay, so thyme, rosemary, and then I'm going to put three bay leaves. One, two, three. Okay. And stir. He used thin tomatoes. I don't know which brand, but I think I'm going to use these two. At a point, you also use this fatty jollof mix. I have actually never used this before, so I'm going to add this at a point too. So curry powder, sorry, curry powder, uh, blend. The patty jollof mix. Chicken stock. Hold on, I need to focus on this. My base is looking a bit orange and not red. God, I beg you. Why is my base looking orange? I think I, I did too much. I think my base was too much. But then all in all, I just tasted it with just the chicken stock. It doesn't taste bad at all. <laughs> I don't want orange or love. Okay, wait. Okay, so what's the next thing? So I'm going to put no cube. 
Secret ingredient for this recipe, according to him, is smoked paprika. So I'm just going to put one teaspoon of that in. I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but normally my jollof is not this like it's supposed to be red. I also don't know. Maybe it's because we already cooked the thing. Yeah. I'm going to actually let this simmer in very low heat just to make sure that everything combines well. I think I'll take it off from this burner and put it in a smaller burner and then put it back on here. Okay guys, my jello rice is usually red. Okay, this one is just looking a bit orange to me. But I will cook it like that and let us see. Like to me now, what matters is the taste. If I do this and I really like the taste, I'll figure out more. I use like, th the crazy thing is I have three sachets of tomato paste here. I have the patty jollof, I have the regular, like the three that I showed you guys, but I don't know. Let's see, let's just cover it. I'm gonna cover it with foil and cook for like about 20 minutes. Guys, so please ignore my air fryer. This possessed air fryer finally came on, so it's making a lot of noise. This rice is done. I'm going to add some butter and some garlic to it. But guys, I was really worried about the color, but look at the color. It looks amazing. It's just that I'm not used to the base of jollof being that color at that stage. But the color is actually perfect. It's really good. This is my dinner, okay? The love rice, plantain, some steamed veggies, and chicken, okay? That's it, guys. I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a taste test for this jollof. It's not bad at all, but I also think that it's kind of right up there with my previous jollof recipe. Because normally, first times I try recipes, I always don't really like them. I always figure out after trying them the first time what to adjust. As you guys saw, I think that my onion base, like the base that I blended, was way bigger than what he had. So my base to like fried tomato ratio, mine was way higher. And it shouldn't have been like that. But all in all, it's really a good recipe, to be honest. If you even want to take this up a notch, I would say let it burn. Like, cover it and let it burn. I don't want to say put liquid smoke or anything, but let it burn a little bit and so that it will give it that really nice smoky flavor. It's really good. Guys, I did an eyeshadow type makeup to do. I've not done something like this in a very, very long time. If my eyeshadow also looks uneven, it is intentional because it was something that I was also pointing out in this tutorial. So please do not focus on that. But uh, I wanted to do a try on haul for you guys. I ordered these things like weeks ago and I have a wedding tomorrow and I wasn't quite sure what to wear to this wedding and I have known that I have had this wedding coming for a while so I got some things that I could possibly wear for the wedding I could actually not wear any of the things here but the thing is that I needed the type of cloth that I have in this haul. So I bought from ASOS and it was sent to a shipment forwarding company that I use in the UK. I think they are called A3 Ventures. Their name is going to be on the screen or if it's not on the screen, it's going to be in the description box. I always use them whenever I want to forward a package and it is just cheaper for me because all I paid for this was like the same amount, like 24 pounds, I think they charged me. And that's the same amount you would pay for express shipping. Let's say when ASOS used to do, still do express shipping to Nigeria in a sane manner, they used to charge like 20 pounds and your order will come to Lagos in like four to five days, right? But then again, we know that that is not the case now. You're going to pay way more than that if you actually should ever ship anything and come and pay customs on top. But it's the customs part that pisses me off because it's so unpredictable. You don't even know why they are charging you what they are charging you. Anyways, 
I couldn't bake my cookies yesterday. I've had three meetings. Did I already say that? I have had three meetings. Three meetings since after I filmed this video. So I'm just even happy that my makeup still looks the way it looks. Let me try this on and yeah i didn't bake cookies yesterday again i don't know if i had mentioned it but the plan yesterday was to make jollof rice and to bake cookies but i'm not going to bake the cookies i'll bake them this evening once i'm done so let me just bring everything out this is everything i ordered so let's go or oh, let me wear them one by one i don't want to stain anything with makeup i don't even like trying clothes on with makeup on and these shirts now that i'm about to remove i'm so sorry for it because makeup is going to get on it but let's try okay so guys do you know what yeah i will go back but then i think i'll alternate between this and my phone to show you guys the dresses this is the first one i have a problem now because i can smell full and my nose is very sensitive and i think that what has happened here is that the dispatch rider dispatch rider carried this clothes to go and buy four why they do this thing chidema can never understand so now i have to really air this out let me see if i can get rid of this smell but why but this is the dress it's a very long gold string Okay, I don't know if you guys can still see, but let me get my phone, okay? So this is this dress, like, yeah, the phone offers a better view, I think. It's a size 10, okay? It fits well. There's a line in here that I can see. I don't know, do I need to pull that down? Okay, I think it's pulled down. I really like the slit. But then, guys, like, I feel like this thing is a bit big because it's actually rumpling at the back. So it's one of these things I feel like around the waist area, it needs to be tailored. This is a gorgeous dress, by the way, but I think it needs to be held. This thing happening, it has to stop. Overall, it's a beautiful dress. I like it. This is option number one. Okay. It looks great. I was even thinking, okay, do I need to wear shapewear? I don't even need to wear anything with this. Like, it just looks good. Well, except for that whole rumpling thing. And the thing again about this is that... I think I need to pull. Can I pull this up? Hold on. Do I like this sleeve like this or do i like it the other way anyway i will decide the thing about this is that this is a tall dress so i got this from the tall section so i'll wear heels if i wear heels it will balance well let me show you guys the second option that i got okay this is number two i'm gonna go back and then i'll grab my phone this dress the back is open i need to move close okay can you guys see just how open it is. This is actually a gorgeous dress. I love the fact that it's very slinky. You can't wear shapewear with this either. Some of you probably be like, shut my shape. Shut, 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 don't, don't stop me. I like shapewear. Okay. I don't understand the cuts that they use in putting this slit here. But anyways, let me show you guys in the mirror. This is the red dress. The back is completely open. It's nice. The cut is very shift dress-ish, but then it has off shoulder. You can't wear a bra with this, guys. Sorry, like, I'm just going to have to wear, like, nipple covers if I'm going to wear this. And you cannot wear a bra with this dress. It is just not possible. I just also have to suck in, like, super... I'm not even really sucking in right now, but because it has that whole shift dress thing going on, yeah, okay? If you have, like, an obvious belly button trying to see if i can even like but all in all this is very nice like you wear this with i wish you guys could see me moving in the mirror but if you're moving it actually moves really well i like it i think it's a sexy dress <laughs> okay let me try the next one but this is cute i'm going to have all these dresses linked in the description box okay let's see where i'm supposed to stand with this i'm trying to practice how i'm going to take picture with this no this dress is long it's from the tall section the thing about dresses like this is that if asos has anything in tall it already has it in regular most of the time and it also has it in petite and sometimes it has it in asos curve i think that this is nice the cut is very shifty okay let me try the next one this one is so gorgeous and i feel like i'm just surprised that it actually is this fine i didn't expect it i even threw this one in not really for a wedding per se but also for church if it calls for it let me go back i don't know how this looks because i'm just so far away but let's move to the mirror guys i really like this dress a lot it's giving grown woman vibes like my assistant just saw it and she was like it's like you're about to go sign some deals like i love it and it's very light fabric but then like i don't have any obvious like bumpy bumpy blah 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 like listen it has this thing here that you can tie however i just tied it twice you can also tie it once i guess but the print is also so lovely 
it just comes with this right and i think that this also can go to the back let me actually take it to the back i tried to tie it to the back i really couldn't i was just sweating a little bit but this is a gorgeous dress i have a green bag i match it with this one i even just black heels brought to church this is fire and initially i thought that this was a floral print but looking at it now i think it's a floral print but it's like a blurred floral print it's gorgeous guys it's really nice so so okay let me try the next one guys this second one it didn't lock it didn't lock it's a gorgeous gorgeous dress but it, it won't lock i even tried and called someone to help me let me move to the to the mirror to show you guys guys this is such a gorgeous black dress guys this is a gorgeous black dress and the cut on the model looks so stunning i knew it would look good on me especially considering how it comes together at the waist the body like everything feels good until you come to the sleeves the sleeves i have to take it to a tailor to do something i don't know what can be done i doubt that there's any allowance just to change the sleeves and i think i'll just take it to the people who normally do amendment for me this is a gorgeous black dress oh, beautiful dress at that i love the square neck i love everything but the sleeves are so tight and they won't let like it, it won't lock it won't lock on top this is such a big girl dress oh my. yeah i know what to do the waist fits fine the hips fits fine everything fits fine minus the sleeves so annoying i'll take it to the people who fix my dresses or clothes they know what to do but yeah this is the second to the last one i'll show you guys the last one now this is my least favorite legit like i don't even know what i was thinking when i bought it like it looks so nice on the model that's another thing again the back is well it doesn't look that bad looking at it now again i just my first impression of this cloth i didn't really like it let me show you guys in this mirror i think that maybe wearing heels this will look better the back is really cute okay i just don't know if i like the front i also am not a big fan of the stitching so there's a seam that goes inside just across like this i don't know why it looks like something that is supposed to be underneath the boob listen the front of this cloth i don't like it's giving me christian mother vibes i don't like that maybe by the time i dress it up and style it really well i would like it i just it's not giving huh well this looks good but am i going to stand like this all day it looks nice Sha. this is the final one so that's it that's my haul that black dress i love it so much i must do something about the sleeves the first three i really really liked so yeah brown sugar light brown sugar straight into the batter and this is because in the past I've accidentally put like bad egg in my batter so first I will crack it in a separate plate to make sure that the eggs are actually good and good enough these eggs are fine so I'm just going to pour two eggs two teaspoons I don't have it to try
to get a stand mixer because Just make sure that my dry ingredients are mixed properly but i need a stand mixer guys i should have been able to mix in the dry ingredients but i'll have to mix this into the dry ingredients Okay guys, this is the first batch. I don't have trays that are big enough and I just realized this like halfway through. This first batch is done. I did a test bake initially. So I baked like three cookies just to test in here and just figured out what to adjust. I had to put some chocolate. Well guys, this tastes so good. Because I have only one tray now, I'm baking batch by batch and it's going to make this take a bit long. But um, this is the first. So I'm going to wait two minutes for these to cool. Transfer them to a cooling rack-ish and then continue. Guys, I am not even being dramatic, but these are the best chocolate chip cookies I have baked in my life. The taste is insane. I'm going to link the recipe in the description box, but these, even the whole kitchen smells so nice. So freaking nice. So nice. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. I'm just going to let these cool. Okay, I'm going to let them cool for a bit and then I'm going to go shower really quickly, come down and then I'll pack it, pack them up. But guys, these taste so good. Oh my gosh. I'm not even like, oh my gosh. I legit had a few in this small rack here. Gone. Tastes so good, guys. So I'm going to just take pictures, but then I'll shower and then I'll come down. Guys. I don't have anything wider than this at the moment. I don't even know why this is labeled hot chocolate. I'm just going to pack as much as I can into here. This is the widest empty airtight container I have at the moment. So, yeah. We're going to have to make this work. Okay. <laughs> this is enough. I'm going to try. Yeah. I am so freaking tired like I barely got any sleep yesterday there's a lot going on the only thing I'm looking forward to is like just that this evening is going to end on a lighter note I am going for a wedding I'm just so freaking tired guys like I'm really tired like 
I want to start getting ready because my hairstylist is going to be here any moment and just focus on my makeup. I have chicken wings here, but I think I can only eat three pieces of chicken wings. I can't eat more than that. I don't really want my belly bulging out in my dress. Okay, makeup is done. I'm going to do my hair. guys i settled for this dress that i have from asos i've not worn it in a while and i like it and i think it really goes i am wearing gold heels from zara my cult gaia purse and i think it looks really cute i'll show you guys in the other mirror but yeah this is what i'm wearing for this wedding i am ready i'll save the outfit from before for something else because i'm wearing heels i'm much taller than this mirror now but this is the dress in the same mirror that i used to show you guys the other outfits yesterday so let's go <laughs> I got food everywhere, everywhere. I'm going to take this off, but this dress served me well, okay? Served me really well. Gorgeous dress, man, gorgeous dress. I've just gotten food everywhere. I've eaten so much, look at my stomach. But gorgeous dress. Good morning. You guys, good morning. Came back home so late last night which is to be expected with Lagos weddings. I'm going to round this vlog up today. I have a new black soap here that I'm going to use to shower now. So I'm gonna go into the shower. This is by a brand that I've talked about to you guys several times. This is Natural Nigeria. And the last time I actually mentioned this brand to you guys or talked about them, I think in 2021, I'm not sure. Is it 2021? They were in the process of like a rebrand at the time repackaging and oh my gosh this new packaging for them looks so good looks so freaking amazing there's a qr code let me scan it and actually see where it takes you oh okay it takes you to their website and shows you the exact same product in case you wanted to order i'm just waiting for the page to load i think that something is wrong with my internet to be honest because this internet has been turning on your own Oh, there's even a video of me talking about, oh, this is so cute. Like, so on their page, there's a video of me actually talking about the soap in 20, I don't even know 20 what it was, but guys, I have this soap, I used to use it a lot. I have a video that I did about black soaps like years ago. I'm going to have that linked in the description box, but this is just basically what it looks like. So you can order online. I am going to shower now end this vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed this story i've just woken up i've not even left bed technically my energy is so low but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog guys like random days like rand like and it's not even days like the most random times throughout this week i just remember my auntie i could be eating i could be walking down the stairs i could be entering a car i just remember her you know That barrel, like, I was thinking, oh, I could vlog, like, I couldn't even, you know, my auntie's so rest in peace, you know. I pray, and please, guys, say prayers as well for our immediate family, if you can spare the time, that God gives them strength. My uncle has been so strong, her children have been so strong, and I don't even know why, like, that strength sometimes is what even drives me to tears, because I'm just like, they shouldn't be dealing with this, you know. May I so rest in peace. I had to take pictures of this just for the thumbnail before I came back. I also don't know why I feel like this is so dark. So let me open it up and show you guys what it looks like inside. 
if you're not used to black soap it's a west african thing okay i really like this packaging this one is sealed it has a very fresh scent that I really love okay see this is what it looks like it lathers really well and I do like a video like a night time I think I've not done a night time routine yet let me know if you guys want to see that but this is how black soaps tend to look I also have a liquid one from Oledo Naturals that I really want to try as well I'll be trying that out this coming week yeah I think I'm back to using black soap on my body like neck down I kind of took a break from black soaps and for no reason actually in particular like I got to a point where I felt like every single time that was all I was using and and I'd been doing this for about five six years straight and I think I had traveled with black soap got to the UK I don't even know what had happened but at a point I ran out of soap tried another shower gel that I had seen in a store by a brand started using that and I've been using shower gels for the past two years but let me try this again and I'm sure that it's just going to be the way that I remember it to be and to be honest these are not expensive and you get your money's worth you know I really like this package I'm not gonna lie so guys yeah I'll see you guys in the next one